guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I used products from the Sleek Whimsical Wonderland collection to create this pastel -y eye look and this vibrant lip look. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I got this look, then please keep watching. To prime my eyes today, I'm going to be using my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. I'm just gonna place that on the lid. It doesn't have to be neat at all because I'm gonna blend it out. And I just like to blend this up to the crease area because we are gonna be placing crease colors there too. This primer is my favourite primer to use with these kind of eyeshadows just to be able to get more opacity out of them because they are pastel shades. So I do feel like a white primer is definitely the best option with these eyeshadows if you do want to get more colour payoff with them. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this under my eye area as well. And I seem to have somehow gotten red a lip liner or lipstick on my forehead so that's interesting. Okay we're all good, the red lipstick is gone and crisis is avoided. So let's move on. I really enjoyed using these kind of pinks and oranges and peachy colours in the palette. So the first shade that I'm going in with is this shade here called Swing Boats. And I'm just going to start placing that into my crease area. And to do this I'm using the crown brush. This is a C200 Deluxe Crease Brush. And this shade does have a lot of kick up. Most of the matte shades in the palette do, or pretty much all of them do. So just make sure to tough up your brush. The next shade I'm going into is this shade called Twister. I'm actually going to use my Sigma E25 blending brush to apply this. So I just want it more concentrated in that crease area. I really love the combination of these two shades in the crease. This looks so pretty. And so appropriate for summer as well. This shade still has fallout, but it's nowhere near as bad as the first shade I applied into the crease. And they both blend really nice and easy. I'm just gonna take that first brush and just very lightly blend along the edges. So I have found that the best way to apply the shimmer eyeshadows is with a stiff synthetic brush like this one. This is from the Naked 3 palette from Urban Decay. So I'm going to start by applying this shade here called Carousel and I'm going to apply that onto the inner half of my eye. wiping that same brush off and then I'm going to apply this shade here called loop the loop onto the rest of my eyelid and then just using little zigzag motions to blend it in with that lighter shade. There you go, I brought you in closer so you can see what I'm doing. As you can see this palette does get quite messy, there is quite a lot of fallout going on but I do find that with a lot of sleek palettes so there's nothing new. My lower lash line, I'm going into this purple shade here called Dodgems. And again I'm just going to use a blending brush to apply that because I like it, so I want it to look nice and hazy. Again this shade has a lot of kick up so remember to tap off the brush. This shade does perform really nicely with a white primer. I definitely recommend the white primer for this shade in particular because I found with a primer such as Painterly or any kind of skin tone primer, like you didn't really get the purple come through. And it is such a nice colour, so I really want it to come through. It matches my hair really nicely, so. Okay, we're gonna switch to an E30 pencil brush by Sigma. And I'm going to take this shade here called Teacups. I'm just going to apply that right underneath the lower lash line. And then I'm going to take this shade here called Hit the Bell. 
and I'm going to apply that to the outer part of my lower lash line. Once again, I'm just needing a little bit more purple on my blending brush and I'm just going to make sure everything is nice and hazy. I'm then going to take that Real Techniques angled blending brush, which I can never remember the actual name of, and I'm just going to apply this shade here that we applied on that inner part of the lid, just to the inner corners, just to brighten things up a bit more. I am going to apply black liner with this. You could leave this really nice and hazy and just have like white eyeliner and add some mascara and you're good to go. I personally love the contrast of pastel shades with a black waterline and a black winged liner. So that's the way I'm going. So I'm using the Inglot number 77 gel liner, which I have been loving. I've only had it for about a month now but I really, really like it so far. So it'd be really interesting to see how long it lasts before it starts drying out. And I'm going to apply the eyeliner with the Real Techniques Fine Liner Brush. I'm also applying this in my waterline because I love how it stays put all day. I'm also going to tight line with this as well. For mascara, I'm going to use my Ebony Caper version mascara. I've been obsessed with this lately. I really like the way this applies, I love the way it makes my lashes look, and I love that it doesn't clump up on me. The formula is wetter than I usually like, and it can get a little bit messy, especially on the lower lash line because the brush is quite chunky, but you know, I can just work around that. There's ways of working around that, and I just take a little bit more time with this mascara so I can be as careful as possible on that lower lash line. Even though the formula is quite wet, once it dries down it doesn't smudge on me, it doesn't flake on me or anything like that, so I'm really really happy with this mascara, I love it. I'll definitely have to purchase the full size once I run out of this. For cheeks I'm using this Hullabaloo gel blush and the way I like to apply this is to basically pat this on and then blend it out with my beauty blender. The directions tell you to take um, to use your fingertips and kind of blend it out with your fingertips but so I'm just gonna basically swipe this on where I want it, kind of fading it up to the back of the cheeks there. And I know it looks really clownish but seriously it blends in beautifully. And I'm really, really surprised by how much I like these. Because I'm not usually that big on cream and gel products for the cheeks. But I really, really like the way these apply. And they don't change the texture of my foundation. Which is really nice because sometimes I find cream products can make their foundation look a little bit weird and icky. So I'm really, really impressed with these. So there we go, you just get a really nice light flush to the cheeks. So, so pretty. Right, for lipstick, I'm going to use this shade here called Big Shot. And it's just beautiful, vibrant purple lipstick. I was wearing this towards the end of my Urban Decay Naked Concealer review. And I really, really like the formula of these lipsticks. They are supposed to be a matte finish. I feel like they are more of a satin, but they're really, really comfortable. But I did find this shade and Hot Totty to be pretty long lasting. I wore this for about five hours before needing to reapply. And it fades pretty nice while eating. Apart from the top, I feel kind of starts to look a bit tatty, but the bottom definitely fades pretty nicely. 
So overall, I'm really impressed with these lipsticks. Okay, for highlighter, I'm going to use my Sleek Solstice Highlighting Palette. And I'm just taking my Crown C310 Deluxe Soft Fan Brush. And I think I'm going to stick with the candy colours. So I'm going to use a mix of this pink shade and this peachy shade. And now the majority of that texture has gone away from my skin. I'm just going to apply it in that C shade that I like to apply it in. So I stopped doing that for a while because I just had so many small bumps on my skin it looked terrible. Here is the finished look. If you guys are interested in seeing the full Whimsical Wonderland collection from Sleek, I will leave the link down below for my review for you guys. And I basically go into detail about every single product in the line. So if that's something you're interested in, please be sure to click on that. Anyway guys, as usual, I hope you enjoyed this look. I hope you found this video helpful in some way. And thank you so much for watching.